Now then, everybody, as you know, I'm always on the lookout for really interesting places to visit. And do you know what? One of the things I learned during the pandemic is sometimes you don't have to jump on an aeroplane or a train and travel thousands of miles to get to really interesting places. Today, I'm here at Preston Grange Mining Museum. Yeah, that's a little bit different, isn't it? Believe it or not, this place is only two miles away from where I live, and I've never been here before. I believe it's really interesting. It's a great place to come for a walk, especially on a beautiful day like this. So I think we should get stuck in. What do you think? Fancy joining me? Welcome to Rog Vlog. <laughs> Now, there is a visitor centre and cafe here at Preston Grange, but today's bank holiday and it isn't actually open. But I have been reliably informed that inside there are more exhibits that you can have a look at, plus a cafe where you can get a fabulous cup of coffee and some snacks. This information board is fascinating. There's been a mine here at Preston Grange for over a hundred years and the history of the steam locomotives and the steam-powered mining equipment is really interesting. Let's go and have a deeper, closer look. The museum is set out over a really wide open space with loads of trees and places to explore. So I think you get quite a bit of exercise if you come here for a wander around. Ah, I've just caught sight of my first piece of mining equipment. Looks like a railway cart. Yep, it's some sort of mining truck. Let's cross these railway tracks. Ah, yes. This leads to the head frame and the head frame is what most people associate with mines you know the tower with the wheels on top that lower the lift is the lift the right word the cage lower the cage down into the mines oh yes that's what i was talking about the tower with the wheels here we go One thing that I find absolutely fascinating is how close to the sea this mine was. I mean, there is the top of the shaft with the wheels that drove the cages down into the mine. And just over there, that's the Firth of Forth. So we're only about 200 yards away from the sea. I didn't even think it was possible for a mine to be that close to the water. These mines had their own railways. That's why there's loads of these old railway lines and sleepers lying around. Absolutely love this great big white gate leading deeper into the mine. Lots of uh, interesting stuff over here. When I arrived here 20 minutes ago, it was blue sky and it was really warm. <laughs> it's just started to rain. That's Scotland for you. <laughs> Obviously, a lot of this equipment is absolutely ancient. This crane, I guess, looks a little bit rusty, but it's absolutely steeped in history. Whitaker's patented steam crane navvy. 
built in Horsforth near Leeds. How cool is that? I went to Leeds University a long, long, long time ago. And what is this? It looks like some sort of tank from either a steam engine or a boiler or a turbine or something. And round here, I believe we have the powerhouse and another of those almost missile looking tanks. Here by the powerhouse there are also a few woodland walks you can go on, going off into the forest in both directions. And up these steps looks like there's some kind of water wheel or driving wheel. Let's go take a look. And this is the most impressive building on Preston Grange Mining Estate. This is called the Beam Engine, the Beam Engine. At its deepest, the mine was 420 feet down. And perhaps it was a consequence of being so close to the sea, but the mine used to fill up frequently with flood water. And this gigantic Cornish beam engine was constantly, constantly pumping the water out of the mine to keep the men digging the coal safe. Now, believe it or not, this Beam engine ran continuously for 80 years and they only had to stop it twice. Wow! <laughs> I mean, that is just incredible engineering. What is it I always say? Feel the power <laughs> of history. I'm just sheltering here under the trees because it started chucking it down with rain again. Up there is another trail through the woods. But let's give it five minutes and then we're gonna head down to look at the Hoffman Kiln. This is the chimney of the Hoffman Kiln that you can see from miles and miles around. I believe the Hoffman Kiln, as its name would suggest, is where they made thousands and thousands of bricks. And this is where they came to bake them. Is that the right word, baking? Do you know, I was right. You do bake bricks and drainage pipes and ceramic goods. Now here is that Hoffman kiln and its gigantic chimney. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna to have to say it again. Feel the power of history. <laughs> Time to head back to the car, I think. Pity that, that coffee shop's closed. Yeah, I really could murder a coffee. Well, I really enjoyed my visit here this afternoon to Preston Grange Mining Museum. Something completely, completely different. Now, it's not a full day out and there's not a lot here for the children. But if you fancy an hour and you fancy a fairly long walk around these grounds and maybe even take a little bit longer and get up into some of those woodland trails, then it's a great place to come for a quick visit. And it's only about eight miles outside of Edinburgh. 
just on the outskirts of Musselburgh. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Rog Vlog. If you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until the next video, remember, there's always something to see, and it might only be just down the road. So get out there and find it.